<laughs> Yo, fire the engineer, man. <laughs> we <laughs> recorded now. <laughs> Is this thing on? And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what up, boy? It's your boy Switch. I'm here with your boy Jimmy. I'm here with your boy Jay, and I'm here with yo, your yo. man Ant. And yo. what's going on, fellas? Let's go. How fellas. was y'all weekend, man? How was the festivities? Weekend was beautiful. Nice. It was beautiful. Yeah, it's good weather. I was I was living vicariously through through Ant's uh, Instagram story, so it was it was a beautiful weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great weekend, yo. Yeah? What you did? I was in Panama City Beach, man. It was good. I was worried, though, because that storm, that hurricane, it, you know, initially they said it was going to hit the Gulf. Mm. So they were like, oh, we're going to yeah. get rain. And I don't even blame you, bro. Oh, for rain out there. But um, so I was like, you know what? I was going to cancel. As a matter of fact, I asked Jay. I was like, yo, Jay, you think I should get the uh, insurance? Mm-hmm. And um, I remember that. So I was like, you know what, man? I called them down there, and they were like, they just talking about rain. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. If even if it's rain, it's a change of scenery. Mm. So got down there, beautiful. beautiful. No rain. It rained for like you know, like Florida rain when it rains for like oh, like an hour. hour for real hard. Yeah, and then it stops. <laughs> yeah, that That's was Florida. It. That was it. The the hurricane the hurricane actually went around. It hit. It hit uh, New Orleans, but then it went around Florida altogether. Mm. So they got all the rain here in Atlanta. So I left just in time, you know. They got like five <laughs> inches of rain. Wow. So I was good, man. The view, it, dude, it was it was warm, but it was breezy. Like, it, it was like the the best. Like, you, it wasn't too hot. It wasn't too, you know. Nice. Like, humid. You, had the, you had the beach? Oh, yeah. It was in the beach for a few hours. Each day when we got there, we went straight to the beach. You were like you were like a block away from the beach, right? I was across the street. Yeah, that see that that I could understand why you were concerned about that storm coming, man. Yeah, I've seen them Hollywood movies when them waves come in, bro. This dude was singing them, Sim, living my <laughs> right. best life. <laughs> yeah, they all um, back and forth. <laughs> but but they crazy, but because of the um because of the storm, they weren't letting people in the water because the tide was crazy. Mm. So they kept coming back, you know, they like ankles deep, ankles deep. You can't go in the water. So they wasn't allowing it. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Anybody else have a, a, a splendid weekend? No, nah, not me, bro. I was I was I was in the house posted up, man. You know what I mean? Dang. I went to Chicago on Saturday. You did? Uh, yeah. This dude flying around. This dude so missing no one wide right here. You already wow. know. Um, yeah, I went to Chicago for the day uh, with the family. Took my mom's. Um, and we just went around. So uh, the the thing with Chicago is you got the bean. The bean was like had like railing all around, so you couldn't even go to it. And like, you was know, that because be of off. COVID or terrorists? Why? Why did they do that? I'm guessing because of COVID. Terrorists. Yeah, I don't know. I mean it. it I mean, I don't know why any terrorist organization would want to bomb the bean, but why would COVID want to go to the bean? Because there's a, a bunch of people and it's outside. You know, I don't know, but that was the case. Um, but it was mad heads. Um, people was rocking, you know, their mask or whatever. Some people wasn't rocking masks, um, and yeah, but it was cool. It was a good day. We did a lot of walking, and then. Took the last flight out, and then we were right back home. You're ready for the fastest growing Christian podcast, you know? <laughs> Just in and out of huh? Yeah, in and out. So another vacation for you. All right. That's cool. Yeah, it was good. It was dope. Yeah. What All about right, you, Switch? Me? I did nothing but work, man. That's what I was doing, man. A working man. Grinding. That's what's up, man. That's good. <laughs> you should. You should be doing that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But enough about us. 
Yeah. We got a we we got some guests in the building right now. We got some okay. special guests. All the way from the, the west, west side. side. That's right. What's going mm-hmm. on, fellas? Kelly's State deep today. Name, stay where you from. Mm. Yeah, what's up with it, man? My name is Hurd. I'm from Riverside, California. Just a messenger, man. Los Angeles, California. Hey. What's up? LA what's doing up? big things look at the last couple of days. That's right. I mean, we've been doing big things for decades, but the life. Yeah, well, 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 first off, congrats to you fellas. Well, are you guys both uh, Laker fans? Laker fans? No, I'm an avid Laker fan. <laughs> <laughs> can disagree and still be family. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not a Laker fan, but, you know, for the sake of the city and, you know, and, and you know, how the the legacy that Kobe left. Right. You know, you know, I I I don't I'm not gonna speak against the Lakers, but I'm not right. a Laker, you know, so I'm a You're an LA fan. You're an LA fan, right? I'm a, it'll get deep, you know. <laughs> it'll get deep. So you, you a Clippers fan. You know what? Only when I'm doing my fade, you know what I mean? I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> I could dig it. I'm a Warriors wow. fan, man. Warriors? Oh, Warriors. Oh, wow. okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Taking it I rock with Steph, man. I, I I've been following him since high school. I just so I rock with him, you know. So I rock with the Warriors because I rock with Steph Curry. The show. He said he, he said he goes with the Christian. That's what he said. I mean, and that's a plus, <laughs> you know. <laughs> man, you know, we, we we in we in some crazy times, man. We gotta stick together, man. I'm gonna ride with the brothers that's that's lifting up the name of the Lord. No doubt. Yeah. Yo, for real, man. Yeah, I'm I'm I mean I'm gonna be honest, man. Um. I'm not a Laker hater, but I'm not a LeBron fan at all. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm gosh. a LeBron hater, so I just want to let y'all know that, all right? Oh, man? my but, gosh. But, but congrats to the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. We here. We here. <laughs> hold up, hold up. But why, why, why are you mad? man. He's a crybaby. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's my guy right there, yo. Look, man. Look, look. What? I'm probably going to say something you don't even think I'm going to say. I'm an avid Lakers fan. I'm a supreme Kobe fan, right? Mm. And because LeBron came to my team, I was never really a LeBron fan, but I just know how to respect greatness and talent. You know what I'm right. saying? I can just right. respect who he is and what he do, what he brings to the table. When he came to the team, like I seen a lot of Laker fans who wasn't really LeBron fans jump on a bandwagon and act like the negative things that we saw in him wasn't there no more because he put on the purple and gold. You know what I mean? I'm the same way about Kobe. Like, I would bash the stuff that I didn't like about Kobe. Like, homie, check it out. You're doing X, Y, and Z, just being a realist. So LeBron is great. Kelly, he's great. Uh, he does cry a lot. He does whine a lot. He does do a lot of things that, that I disagree with, but to do the winner at the same time. You know right. what I mean? So he all right. right. Look, he, 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 he <laughs> brought a chip back, <laughs> back to the land. He didn't. It's collectively as a team. He can't go out there and play by himself. The team. Right, brought, right, right. The championship back to no I and team. Come on. You can't yeah. tell that to Jay. <laughs> Jay. Look at Jay. Jay, he, that's LeBron. Matter of fact, he went and got a haircut just like LeBron. Take your hat listen, off. Show them. Listen, <laughs> listen. I'm unsubscribing right now out of this channel and out of this whole podcast because this, this is not going to be a good episode. No, 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 but but LeBron is the king, though. He earned that name, like he earned it. He came in, man. The Jesus, the, the only king I know is Jesus, and that's it. Ah, shut Ooh, up! Shut <laughs> up! Oh, 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 oh. It's blasphemy! It's blasphemy! Let's get biblical. Let's get biblical. Jesus is the king of kings. So that yeah, is okay. the king. All right, all right. Oh, oh he forgot oh, the scripts. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, what's up, Kings? What we what up, King? <laughs> I thought LeBron was the King journeyman. I mean, he, you know, he, he traveled oh, a lot and got the rings, though. Mercenary. He a mercenary. Wherever he go, he get his man. Right. So, Lakers yeah, got, you know, they got yeah, 17, yeah. they got 17 rings now, right? They tied yeah. with uh, Boston. Tied with Boston. Tied with Boston. Wow. I believe That's that epic, the Lakers, man. out of just being a Laker fan, I believe the Lakers is the greatest franchise in sports history from the sake of We've been relevant in every era. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's true. In, in all the other sports, you don't have one team that's always relevant. Somehow we found a way to do it. You know what I mean? You go all the way back that's to the true. George Mikan days that's when it was in Minneapolis. Like Boston right. got 17, but they got 11 
with Bill Russell mm-hmm. in like the 60s or the 50s. Yeah. Then a six between the 70s and the 80s, which gave him 17. The Lakers was getting them in the 60s, the 50s, the 70s, the 80s, mm-hmm. the 90s. And then we, we took a, a, a hiatus for a decade, and now we got another one. So I believe we're the best franchise just for that, just from, from the numbers today, outside mm-hmm. of Mm-hmm. That's how like that's how like the Yankees switch. You know, they got like most of their titles back when it was like four teams. He said it's shots. He said yeah. it's shots. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we bought we bought our teams. Five thousand a season. We would get we would get Daryl we would we'll get Daryl Strawberry after he came out the mess. We'd be like, all right, come over here, man. We pay you. We pay you more. But the Yankees did what they did because there ain't no salary cap in baseball, and they just got deep pockets. Yeah. So like that's what you know. What I mean, that's not really a sign of greatness. That's just like, look, I'll pay you. Right. Mm. Yeah, I, I ain't it's I ain't mad at that. Bodies. I ain't mad when people say I've been I grow grew up around family that'd be like, oh, Yankees body team. So I'm I'm used to that. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> but I was born in I was born in I was born and raised in the Bronx. So it's like that's my team. You know what I'm saying? The same yeah, thing with yeah. the Knicks. The Knicks are my team. Oh my gosh. I feel you know what bad I want to talk about long suffering and all that as a Christian. <laughs> be a Knicks fan. You know what I mean? A Clippers fan too. You know. Clippers always get that close, yeah, man. That's like true. the Clippers oh, y'all look get good this year, man. Y'all was looking Every good, year, man. man. That's crazy, man. But you know, yeah. it is what it is. LeBron's a cry baby. All right, let's move. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna edit that part. You heard, editor? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We good, uncut. <laughs> good, right, good. Wrong. You know, hey, but he's. I, I don't take away from his skill, man. The dude got skill. I just don't feel he's a clutch player. I don't. Kobe was the type when the game on the line. He argued with his teammates, give me the ball. Like, give me the ball. I don't care if the whole other team guarding me, give me the ball. And that LeBron is just not like that. He'll pass it just to get the attention off of him. I've noticed that in playoff after playoff after playoff. And I'm not a, a basketball connoisseur, but I've noticed that about him. He, he'll never be clutch like Kobe, man. Uh, that's just how mm. I feel. That's the argument, though, when you start talking about the greatest of all time, the Kobe, LeBron, Jordan conversation. Right. Goes to LeBron plays the game quote unquote right way. Me, I prefer a killer. I prefer the dude who's gonna say, "Give me the ball and we going home." The ice like, in his that's, vein. that's why I will pick Jordan and Kobe as my time. favorites over yeah. LeBron. But I can't deny his skills. Like this is the way I say it: Jordan is the greatest of all time. Kobe is the most skilled player of all time and one of the best scores of all time. And LeBron is the, mm-hmm. the greatest all around player of all time. Like we can't deny the numbers. Like all oh, yeah, he's yeah. in every category. Like yeah. well, I prefer a killer. Like he said, I want somebody who like look in the timeout, give me the ball, get out my way, or set a pick. We either gonna go home winners or losers. Yeah, but we gonna go home living and dying on this sword. I prefer that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, but it worked for LeBron. He he, he got a sixty percent uh uh winning record, which is is, is cool. Kobe is five or seven. Jordan is six and zero. Oh. So the killers, you know, they're a little more successful in that realm because you don't put yourself in a position where you trust the the the, the, the game to somebody who's not used to that moment. You know what I mean? They was like, "Look, we gonna win," and so yeah, but we won. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's <laughs> even no real playoffs. Man. That's, that's it, man. <laughs> it's an yeah, asterisk. Yeah, I, even we had an asterisk. Now, Hurt, how did you feel about that? Did you did you did you feel like yeah we got a ring or was it like ah it was kind of look look homie if we lost people wouldn't have said that if the Clippers <laughs> won it wouldn't be no asterisk. I yeah. put it like this. This I think. No, but like, I'm saying how did you feel true. like at that moment? Were you like super happy or were you just yeah, like we ah, that's another one? Yeah, we won. Like I was super happy because. As a, I've been a Laker fan since a kid, so I'm used to yeah. winning. So I don't like losing. Like I, I, I lose well. I just don't like it. You know what I mean? So like the fact that we won, it made me happy. But to me, I think this is one of the hardest championships in NBA history, for the simple fact of everything that was going on, the social unrest. Um, mm-hmm. You don't have home home court advantage was taken out, so you had dudes who really wasn't that good a ball because the pressure of the fans and yelling and it's too loud in here you can't hear your plays and all that that momentum and stuff was erased and vice versa some dudes need that and yeah, need exactly. that. Yeah. yeah so it was difficult like everybody was in in an uncomfortable place that they wasn't used to being in right. and then 
the fact that you took a four month hiatus in the middle of the season right before playoffs because you know dudes get in rhythm and then you have to find your rhythm like being away from your family for three months it, it was a lot for for I tell people a lot, like for dudes from the streets, like three months is like a short jail sentence. You should be okay. But right. <laughs> them dudes, it's a little That's different. It's a short though. county bid, right? Dude yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, sit, you sit down for 90 days, man. All Come right. on real quick. <laughs> but yeah, man, so, I, I think it was difficult. Okay. So you so you 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 took that that win and you was like, yeah, let's go. Of course. You know, some oh, people will just take any way they can get, you know. <laughs> oh, you know? My goodness. Hey, whether it's real people or fake people in the first 10 rows. Yo, <laughs> still take that victory. Like, man. like just a messenger, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was dope, though, man. It, 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 I don't watch a lot of things on TV. So to have some basketball in the midst basketball, of this right Basketball, yeah. No, no, that was good. The energy, yeah. That, that Especially to take away from the, 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 the energy in the field that the media is putting out there with death and jail and racism and hatred, like just Bro, to get some full true. positive vibes where nothing, none, none of that other stuff matter. And we can just be human for a second and root for something that we yeah. like. Like, I like it. Now it's over. I got to find something else to do. You got football. You got the Raiders. What you talking about? Yeah. Raiders. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's your team. All right. <laughs> Which, what, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not into football. So I, <laughs> he said, Oh, I'm that's your team. Yeah. I'm a fair weather football fan. I watch football in the playoffs. I don't really okay. have a favorite team. The Raiders yeah. was dad's team, so I, I think I'm just going to take on Raider legacy. Nice. You got a mean stadium, though. Yeah, yeah. that thing fly at night, bro. I was looking at the other <laughs> night. I was in Vegas, stamped from the top floor where we were at. It looked like a spaceship, man. I'm like, this thing <laughs> take off. Like, at the end of the, like when it's all said and done, people going to pay like a million dollars to get a ticket to be inside of this thing. So it's just gonna take off like that thing. Is amazing, bro! Like, so everybody man, getting the Mars, huh? man. That, that thing got an engine in it. I'm As a kid, you. I love that logo. That Raiders <laughs> logo is the best logo ever. Yeah, man. Yeah, the Raiders, the Raiders got like a a masculine aura. Yeah, our fans, man. I got I got Jack for my Raiders coat. I was 11 years old, man. That's, that starter jacket, man. I had a late uh, a Raider jacket, starter starter jacket, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't know, man. It, it was killing on the starter yeah. jacket, yeah, dude. Starters oh, and Jordans, man. In the I 80s. heard some footsteps, and when I turned, around, big old dude just grabbed me and took my coat. I'm like, man, let me. All I wanted is crazy. Was my Walkman out of the pocket? I'm like, let me get my Walkman. It was running across the street, man. But it was crazy. You said you was 11, 11, 11 years old. You was man. 11 years old. Wow. By some grown dude took my jacket, man. No, oh, my no, he put it on. He was putting it on as he was running. Like, that's the crazy. I just, I see it. Wow. Like, to this day, I'm like, man, this dude took my Raider jacket. Like, and he took the Walkman too. No. <laughs> yeah, he was putting it on as he was running. Like, man. That's you, had that, you had that yellow Walkman? Yeah. Had, oh, no. no the yellow and gray. Exactly. <laughs> that was the yellow one, man. That was that, that, what you call it, proof? It wasn't waterproof, but. Something yeah. uh skip like skip proof skip proof, skip proof. Yeah. Shock, shock, proof. shock shock yeah, yeah shock proof man. yeah come on now you know about the yellow one man <laughs> everybody <laughs> turning their age now everybody right right, right. <laughs> everybody is, who got hey, who was alive in the eighties get some batteries for the ninety nine cent store last you three songs after that it's like, <laughs> man man, man, man that was 